Good day everyone and once again we're back together. Your favorite uncle is here to give you some good nuggets for maths and science. All right, let's jump into uh, the June 20, uh, actually May 2023 exam. All right, so um, right, this is on uh, the, uh, the quadratic sequence. All right, so let's have a look at this question. So they say to us we've got a quadratic sequence which has the following properties. So first of all, they say that the second difference is 10. Okay, so um, all right, we'll express that. And they say the first two terms are equal, right? T1 is equal to T2. And uh, the first three terms, T1, T2, and T3 are equal to 28. Right, now let's first start with what we know about a quadratic sequence, right? So... Um, they say show that the general term of the sequence is given by that expression 5n squared minus 15n plus 16. Right, so remember, so in this case for uh, the general term of a quadratic sequence, remember that's a n squared plus b n plus c, right? So what we have to prove is that the value of a is equal to 5, right, according to that equation given. The value of B is negative 15 as well as the value of C equal to uh, 16, right? Now, what we do know about a, um, you know, about a quadratic sequence. So, uh, let's say first term, okay, until Tn, right? So, we know that the first uh, difference in this case, right? So, when we take T2 minus T2, t1 that's our first difference or when we take t3 minus t1 right then of course uh, what's going to be the second difference this is where now let's give this guy a uh, just another name okay okay so let's call this um uh, the first term of the second difference, right? Ach, let's call it uh, first difference. Let's call it uh, F1, okay? And this is F2, right? Now, in this case, when we take F1 minus F2, right? F1 minus F2, that's going to be our second difference, right? Rather, F2 minus F1, sorry about that. Uh, F2 minus F1, okay? So I'm just giving it a name so that, uh, you know, just so that it becomes easier for us to work with, right? Now, remember that our second difference, okay? So this guy here, we always say this is equal to 2a. So whatever our second difference is, that's our 2a value. Now, the first term of the second, of the first difference is always 3a plus b, right? And of course, the first term of the sequence is always a plus b plus c. And of course, we know this by just sim simply substituting one there and getting that value. Now, remember what information we're given. They said the second difference is 10. So it means they've given us this value here. Right, so we can quickly say, well, it means that 2a, okay, I just want to use a different color, right? So it means that 2a is equal to 10. And so that simply means divide that by 2, so a is equal to 5. All right, we've got that. And remember, um, the second one were, was that uh, T1 is equal to T2. So what does that mean? It means for the first difference, remember, T2 minus T1. So it means that the first difference, okay, that value would be equal to zero, right? Uh, between term two and term one. Why? Because they're equal, right? So it means once we subtract them, they will be equal, okay? So now, uh, how are we going to, um, you know, uh, get that value? Now, we already have this here, 3a plus b, which is t2 minus t1. So it means that 3a plus b will be equal to 0. That's our first term 
of the first difference, right? Which is always 3a plus b. So we already have the value for a. That's 5. We want the b value and we know it's equal to 0 because the first two terms are equal. So uh, 3 times 5, that's 15. If we take it to the other side, it simply becomes negative 15. So we've got the value of a, we've got the value of b. All right, we are uh, almost there. So the last one, we know that T1 plus T2 plus T3, all of that is equal to 28. Now, I want us to keep in mind, you remember that T1 plus T2, um, uh, I mean T1 is equal to T2, right? So we know, we always express T1 as uh, A plus B plus C, all right? Because uh, in this case, our N value is equal to 1, right? So we already know uh, this is A plus B plus C. But well, guess what? T2 is the same thing. A plus B plus C, right? Uh, because they are equal. Now, for T3, what we'd have to do is take the general term, right, uh, which is AN squared plus BN plus C, right? And this is, now we're going to use N as 3. So that means this is 3 squared plus B times 3 because it's the third term, right, plus C. Now, I'm going to leave T2 uh, as exactly that. Okay, now let's substitute. We know the value of a, right? So we've already found out that a is 5, b is, um, um, uh, yeah, we said b is negative 15, right? Um, in fact, just taking uh, t1 and t2, why don't we just say um, it's 2 times, okay? So I'm going to say, so this is going to be 2 times a plus b plus C, so that it just becomes easier for us to work with mathematically. So this would be 2 times, this is 5 minus 15 plus C, okay, plus, in this case, uh, we've got uh, 3 squared, this is 9 times 5, plus uh, B is 15, that's minus 15, rather, negative 15 times 3, this is plus C. Sorry, I said 25 instead of 28 there. So this is equal to 28. Right, now let's try and solve uh, for the value of C. Uh, in this case, I'll have 5 minus 15 is 10 there, uh, times 2. So this would be negative 20, okay, uh, plus 2C. Okay, plus 9 times 5, uh, that will give us 45. Minus 15 times 3 is also 45 uh, plus C, and this is equal to 28. Okay, so we can cancel those two. Okay, so we've got 2C plus C, which gives us 3C. We've got a negative 20 that when we take to the other side, it uh, gives us positive 20. So this would be equal to 28 plus 20, which would give us uh, 48. We can divide both sides by 3, right? And in this case, our C value, 48 divided by 3 will give us 16. So now we've got the value of A, of B, and of C, right? So we know that uh, Tn is equal to, um, this would be uh, 5, so that would be 5n squared, right, minus 15n plus 16. All right, so that is exactly what we were asked to prove. Okay, right, now uh, the next question they say, is 216 a term in this sequence? Justify your answer, right? So in this case, how can we prove that something is a, a term. So in this case, remember, it means that we must get a, um, you know, a whole number in this case for uh, the value of n, right? Uh, it must be a natural number. So uh, we're supposed to prove 
um, that 216 is a, uh, is, a, you know, a term in this sequence. So, um, so Tn, which is 5n squared minus 15n plus 16 is equal to 216. So if this does not give us, um, in this case, you know, a natural number um, and an integer on top of that, right? Uh, so in uh, we know that it wouldn't be, you know, a term. So let's try and solve this. So 5n squared minus 15n, okay? If we take this to the side, it becomes negative 216 plus 16, that will give us negative 200, okay, which is equal to zero. Okay, I can see uh, all of the terms are factors of five, so I can divide everything by five, that will give me n squared minus three n, okay, um, so that's 200 divided by five, that should give us 40, and this is equal to zero. Right, so let's try and factorize this and see Okay, so I'll have n and n. What are the factors of 40 such that when I subtract them, they'll give me 3. Okay, I believe that would be 8 and 5. Okay, and in this case, I know that brackets or signs inside the brackets are not the same. Right, we've got a negative number there. Okay, so in this case, that simply means that the bigger product will take the sign of the middle term. So uh, definitely 8n would be greater. So therefore n is equal to 8 or n is equal to negative 5. Right, of course, this would not be applicable. We cannot find uh, the value of n being a negative. Okay, so therefore n is equal to 8. So we can answer emphatically and say definitely 216 is the eighth term. Okay. Uh, of the sequence. All right. I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. And essentially, that is how the cookie crumbles. I hope that everyone is well and that you understood this question. All right. And of course, we'll be continuing with this question paper uh, to give you more value. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and share and tell all your people that, hey, favorite uncle is doing the most. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.